Okay, so we're back again. We're just going to do, I guess, the RBR for this week. During XP week. This character needs experience. This character apparently is a good ID for all of these RBRs. So we're going to do White ID. Since it has really strong forest and ruins drops and decent temple and decent episode 4. So we'll start with episode 1. So I want to make sure I got some decent equipment. I got Charge Arm, Spread Needle, Heaven Striker, Cannon Rouge. I got pretty much everything I need. Just got a V101 Centurion ability. Her luck score is not good, so that tells me I didn't fix her materials. <clears throat> Just fine. I need her to be the best of the best. We got the team to carry us. It'll be fine. I think she's geared more for MST at the moment for Heaven Striker runs. That's fine. At least we got it to Lucius. So we have Tiki with us, we have Dango. Hellcleave wanted to hop in. We'll offer it to Hellcleave. I think Chris will join us eventually. But for now, let it, let's let him get some food. So the ability to see traps. I have enhancements with uh, Excalibur. Unfortunately, this character doesn't have an Excalibur on them. So we'll open the opportunity for another player to join. Need a minute? No problem, Hellcleave. You can take a minute. So we're just going to go ahead and... I guess I could mat count and fix my other things here. As we tend to do with all of our stuff. Oh, they actually have most of it set up. So we'll do party info for number one. And I want forecast. And I want mat count eventually. I like checking that on every character. And we could do RBR. So we have like most of the important things there. So I could just kind of flick that and double check. So it should be silent after image one will be the quest that we start with. And we'll do penumbral surge, which is temple. And then sweep up operation 12, which is question mark, question mark, question mark, but what ID broken. So that's fine. <laughs> just we'll see how it goes. So I got quadruple add up double V at one in the bank. It's kind of nice. Um, I don't think I need to swap out my mag at all. We left the mine rappy of oh, the other one. Probably a little bit of whatever you want, help leave. I think for the most part, Piggy brought in a serious Hue cast, and Dango brought in a Humar. Oh, we learned today Dango42 was also Star of Destiny. Thank you, Blue Donna. Do I have a Frozen Shooter? I actually do not think I do. Which is a shame. I think I just put them away earlier this session. That is annoying, actually. I didn't realize this character didn't have one. Pick every Ashminikov. That's okay. We'll go pick that out later. Yashminikov is so fun. Improbable, says Dango. So yeah, we'll give Hulk leave a minute. So the reason we're kind of contemplating what characters to bring. So Silent After Image goes through Forest and Ruins. So it's kind of a big spread of things. So... White ID specifically gets Red Saber from Hilda Bear or Frozen Shooter from the rare version. This gets Brave Man from Moth. It gets uh, Cure Freeze, which is not bad. Handgun Mila. And then in Ruins, the only really important thing it gets is Handgun Gold. Everything else is kind of whatever. Just bring this for now. That's fair. Oh, maybe it's not the one I think it is. You know what? It's not the one I think it is. I think it was thinking of Scarlet after image before. Yeah, okay. We'll test this out. That is a lot of XP. <laughs> Look out, Tiggy might level this quest. So we're getting a count up timer, which I'm okay with. I don't expect my damage to be super great. Since my materials, I think, were geared towards uh, episode 4 runs with the Heaven Striker. At least we could do a little bit of damage here and there. 
And if needed, I could just allure and help the group kill faster, honestly. How's my money looking? Pretty good. I was meant to be Zalur. Rip. Hmm. Not a huge amount of enemies, but at least I can open boxes while killing him. Oh, missed him by a little bit. I mean, if there's only going to be, like, single spawns, I'm just going to use Heaven Striker. Right, Chad? I mean, like, if it's not going to give me options, I might as well just do that. It's a little better. <laughs> when I just feel like going nearly all specials. Give the game a second. Oh, we hit the end of the soundtrack. I thought it paused for a second. Okay, so we're moving from Rise of Lyric with a very generic, very forgettable soundtrack to Shattered Crystal. Let's see if this is a little more exciting. Honestly, like when I heard that other soundtrack, I would not have been able to tell it was a Sonic game. I would have failed that quiz. So again, due to the low enemy density, I think I'm just going to sacrifice special like every shot. Telepipe down for Hellcleave to catch up. Put another one down for Hellcleave. There we go. So at least if I'm always sacrificed, especially, it kind of makes up for my bad ATP. Yeah, what is this character's mat count? Let's find out together. What's with the buzzer? I have no idea. Renable search one. Okay, I just also wanted to check that real quick. Goodbye, Rappy. And at least some combo killing. That's, that's always good. This character is not the strongest at the moment. He'll get there. Like the dream cast on Helkley's back. Materials should be popping up any second now. There they are. 0 HP, 0 TP. Mm -hmm. 55 power, 100 mind. Oh, okay, that would explain it. Yeah, I was just going with uh, Heaven Striker builds. 62 defense, though. I wonder why I did that. Probably could have just put 62 in power, to be honest, and it would have been fine. Oh well. I didn't even use all my materials, so technically I could just eat a whole bunch of power materials. Given that I want to do the pew pew laser, it's not a bad idea to have a mix of power in mind. But sometimes I do just need to use the sacrifice special for damage. Oh well. Ooh, we're gonna dodge that. <laughs> Almost got hit at 3 HP. I think this is the longest I've gone without healing as a ranger. It's kind of like leaving myself at 3. An interesting choice. I guess it works. We're gonna believe in the team. Nice 
nicely done. Suddenly ruins. Oh, da damage room. Wait a minute. Hold on. I was like, wait a minute. Will that actually kill me? Or it's just going to put me low? How does this work? I'm assuming I just die, right? I think so. That's really rude. Huh. Oh, well. We'll keep going. <laughs> yeah, oh, fun. Look what you missed out on, Chris. You too could be poisoned in this room and die slowly. Don't you want to die slowly to that? That's not Yashminikov. Anti dark flow measures, pretty much. It's pretty rude. At least a simple for like, even though her ATP is not that good and her materials are whack, that sacrifice damage is real. I mean, doing a thousand a shot is pretty good. We'll take that all day. So we just need to kind of fix her up later. Random buzzer sounds. There we go. See, I'm living the full sacrifice life. Like, what other weapons? Oh, that Delta Saber would have killed me for sure. I was not paying attention to it. Lucky it didn't target me. Would not have reacted to that. Get out of here. Get sacrificed. Stupid. Um. Let's go through the door. Ooh. What a bad room for me. Let me just let me just wait for a freeze trap, I think. I don't think I want to deal with this. There we go. A lot of bad enemies that can hit me. Just always be sacrifice specially. Believe in the power of freeze trap. Again, very calm music, not things I associate with Sonic. Enemy wanted to high five me so bad. Oh, I got greedy for the sacrifice there. Ooh, a little box. It almost got me. It's cute. <laughs> I never would be first in the room. I'm like, no thanks. There's the sorcerer. Is this up before? At least, like, I'm kind of nailing it. There's not enough enemies to really justify shotgun most of the time. Like, here's probably a room I could shotgun, right? But, like, most of the time it's just, like, two, three enemies. Like, do I really want to charge arm that when we have rangers and hue casts with big damage? Not really. I mostly just want to burst them if I can. I think I did okay damage there, as I said before. Wow, I actually landed the sacrifice on the Del Saber? That's insane. I had like less than an 80% chance. I'm surprised the odds were in my favor on that one. <laughs> I think this has now become a challenge to how long can I go without healing again. Never mind, how Cleave save me. <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna refuse to heal. We'll be good. So with the XP weak, the XP is okay, but normally this XP kind of terrible, I'm not going to lie. Like we're at 175% XP and all we get is 125, that is not great. We have some pretty strong players with us currently. Enemy pacing, definitely wish it wasn't just like groups of 3 and 4, or if it was, I wish there were more of them. It is a very weird quest, for sure. 
So it's like, I don't mind smaller waves, but if they're more frequent, that's fine. Kind of like if we're, we're in Endless and we just fight like a whole bunch of things back to back to back to back. Where there's like things like loading in in small rooms. Or right now, I'm like, there's not really a lot of choices to make with where to go. Unless I'm missing something. So far, it's pretty linear. It's not like splitting up has done anything. Goodbye, Indiebara. So it's very likely if I keep playing this character, they'll level. <laughs> I'm basically just letting the auto fire aim for me. Holy. Look at my. I'm doing 1500 in crits. I'm being a real player right now. Let's go. Perish. No. No sorcery for you. Wave your finger. I don't think so. I'm glad Ruby Legs is getting a stretch, as it were. Because she does, like, episode 4 pew pew laser. So I need, like, enough raw ATP that some enemies it's faster to shoot. So I guess if I have, like, a serious abundance of power material, I could just eat 36 power material. Could put me at about 1040-ish ATP. I think would be okay. Downside is my luck score is terrible. So yeah, I'm just kind of risking sacrifice every shot just for the damage. Defense material. I guess we got to take the war. Okay. Warps help us go to like other rooms, which is nice. We're not wasting as much time in hallways. Those are appreciated. We got the timer buzz down. Much to mark. <laughs> if I see anything near me, I'm going to panic heal. Uh, panic heal. Oh, maybe not. We're good. Thank you, Freeze Trap. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna accept my death. I'm like, you got me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at 63 health. I'm not surviving that. GG. You win. <laughs> Punished for not healing. Again, I guess because there's so much for Barda and Freeze Trap, I'm just not used to landing this many specials, especially in Ruins. Like, I am max accuracy, don't get me wrong, but, like, that's still a lot of landed specials with a no-hit Heaven Striker. Sadly, it is A-Beast instead of, like, Dark, so it's not as strong here. Oh, tagged in the face. I did not turn fast enough. Rip my face. Uh, don't think I need anything from there. Ah, itchy. In the boxes. Yeah, it's like, example here, like, is it even worth bringing a shotgun to this quest at all? Look how many, like, two target waves there are. I like the contraption for the end warp, presumably. We got buzzed. Hmm. Okay, I'm near the waterfall room. I guess I'll step into the waterfall room. This box is in the middle. Okay. Oh, out of range. I basically just need to not get hit by the Indie Belra, and we're good. Yeah, like when Health Lead Defense downs, I do 3000 damage in a combo. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Chat, oh no. Leave me alone. Oh, there we go. Did 2000. Thank you, Health Lead, for the Zalore. I do appreciate that. Also, I don't think I'd combo kill. With that, I can. It's a slowly evolving laser grid. Waiting for it to take over the world. Oh, 
My die mate was not good enough. Rip me. I need to just get rid of die mates. I think at this point I've died to just eating a die mate instead of try mate so many times at this point. I did kill one of the two sorcerers targeting me. As long as it's not two, I'm good. Oh, I froze my own Del Saber. Nice. Get wrecked. <laughs> Thank you, Rivarda. It will just special, 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 honestly. I'm surprised how often this is landing, to be honest with you. We're missing very few of them. Like, I just landed two sacrifice specials a row on Del Saber, who's not even frozen. What actual madness is this RNG? I think I want to go over here a little more, not line up with any players. Mission complete. You did it. All right, let's dump the die mates. <laughs> what indeed. Get rid of these so I can fast heal. Don't need marksman arm. I equipped Ma Yashminikov just to put some grinders on it. <laughs> Why not? Tower teleporters, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I might even have to check the Heaven Strikers I put in the share bank. I didn't realize hers were that bad. I thought she had, like, mediocre ones. Anyway, let's look at the tower that they're looking at. Welcome to the tower. I think I remember describing this quest last time, where I really liked the design, where they did, like, the interesting things with the warps and the laser grid, but I ultimately didn't enjoy the quest. I feel like I'm going to make the same comment I made then. It feels like something I mentioned last time. So it's not quite the quest I originally thought it was, but it was the other quest, so... It's okay. I, I probably wouldn't run it again. It's an RBR, which is fine. Just, it's okay. I just don't like low enemy density quests, sadly. And I think with 175% XP to only be getting 123 XP is kind of insane to me. <laughs> right, Chad? It's just like, it means you're averaging, like, barely 60 XP? Like a little more than that? I don't know. Not enough enemies. But anyway, let's go to the next one in episode 2. Yeah, I like I like some of the warps. Some of the some of the room gimmicks were a little different, I guess. But like I I didn't feel like a whole bunch of waves where I was like, "Oh, that's so fun." Where if we like split off, we could just do like rapid spawns like back to back. Or if they had started with small spawns, for example, but they then like if you wait too long, then you get like a whole bunch at once. That would have been kind of neat. So we'll do Pernumbral Surge. I'm still perplexed by the buzzer thing. I think it was like to activate the traps that made the buzzer sound. Like when the poison room I think happened, the buzzer sound went off. And then for uh, the darkness, the buzzer went off. Ooh, what a weird start. Okay. Mm-hmm. Get ready, hunters. Okay. Oh boy, I'm with Hellcleave. Huh. This must be more of a speedrun style quest. Alright, since there's three enemies and just me, I'll get the charge arm out. Yeah, good luck indeed. Yeah, especially with my damage. It's questionable. We'll have Hellcleave kind of supplement it with some Razans. Hopefully the other team can last long enough with the buffs. What is this spawn? Thank you, Yashminikov. At least we do good damage with Yash. I mean, look at that. It's a lot. Thank you, Yashminikov. Hmm. 
what am I witnessing? I'm so confused. Oh, there's a warp over here. Okay. Hmm. I kind of like the visual effect of the level, where it's kind of like foggy. Makes it a little different, more ominous. Yeah, our Yashminikovs are actually doing pretty big damage. Maybe I'll use these over Heaven Striker for a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely meant to be like more of a speed run and you get like dedicated player one, player four kind of things. I know how I feel about that kind of quest. Yeah, which is kind of awkward because like I could have been paired with anybody and that would have been fine. But the fact that they only have like three minutes of buff means like are we ever going to meet up again in five minutes? Oh, my face rappy. I hit a switch, which I'm assuming is needed for something. We can telepipe together, technically. I think we need to potentially go both paths, though, is the problem. Hello, random hill dealt in this area. So we opened up another door, which has another switch. So I've hit the switch, which has spawned more enemies. Okay, so this is kind of what I was talking about before, where if you're going to have, like, small amounts of enemies, you just have a lot of them in one room. The problem is, I hate this room. Like, I like that, what was it, in episode 4, where you step on the switch and you can time, like, if you're ready for the spawns. I really like that mechanic. Not... Okay, let's hopefully get to the end of this route and we'll talk more, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Rip from Sinsassin. Rip Tiggy. There's a disco of Brave Man with hits somewhere that I can't collect. That's a terrible feeling. <laughs> right, chat? Don't you love that? I can't get their rares. So they drop something I'm kind of interested in. That's a bad feeling. So we did all this just to go through here. Yeah, luck material dropped on their side, but I can't get it. I don't know. Definitely more for people not looking for the items and we're looking for a challenge, which is not bad, but I'm at the face of the game where I, I just want the items. What madness. It's fine. I'll, I'll go without the items. <laughs> I'll just roll my eyes. We at least caught up to the group, so that's a good sign. I could see the group. It means we can rebuff Tiki. So that's always good. So it kind of pays off to five minutes. Again, it's like a cool concept. I just don't like it for item hunts. So I'm, I'm not going to mock the quest for that, quote unquote. Because I think the enemies at least were like better paced. Yeah, like look at the XP. We're at like 150 despite splitting up in a potentially inefficient team. I think it's fine. It's a temple quest. You don't expect a lot of XP in temple quest. Rid of you. So it feels like there's some thought with the level design where they meet up more than once so forces can kind of buff each other. And again, potentially with three man, it might be fine just to do single route. 
which I think is a good consideration for the quest. Because if you had to do that with just like three people, that would have been horrendous. But I like that, you know, potential only one route in that scenario. All right, there's enough enemies. I'm going to charge arm again. Rip all my money, by the way, chat. <laughs> You're going to the great beyond. One shot at a time. So yeah, definitely in terms of XP, in terms of enemy density, there's far more... Oh, there's another event egg somewhere. Damn, that sucks. There's a lot more going on in this quest. The downside... Oh, what the heck is this spawn? Next game. Cute. We're gonna go with cute on that one. I think we're almost in the main room again. Okay. There's a couple boxes in here. Hello, giant hill delts. Another disco brave man somewhere in the distant past. If it's like an uber rare, I'll go get it. If it's a single egg, I'll let it. I'll let it die. I'm not going back for single egg. Photon drops, I'll think about. But oh, rip Hellcleave. Let's go revive Hellcleave. He got bullied. They jumped him. They wanted lunch money. Oh, Hellcleave saving me there with the Rebarda, though. Watch. What a. Interesting series of waves. So again, for two players, this feels like appropriately balanced. If the same amount was for four players, like it wouldn't be fun. And I think that's where like the other quest design felt a little off. Like it seemed like a decent, like maybe single player quest. But like I don't I wouldn't run it multiplayer. Where like you don't really want to fight like eight, 14, 16 enemies. Unless they're like super easy kind of things. And that's why like a lot of the tower quests only have like three to four in a wave. Because they don't want you doing all that. There's some kind of white warp here. Okay, I found Tiggy. They're in the shooting gallery segment of this of the game apparently. So again, like it has this one has like a lot of interesting visuals. So like you, you gotta give it that. I've not seen a quest like this before. And I think it's good to have variety. I don't know if I'd run it, per se, but it's one of those ones... It's cool to show off at least once. So I'm happy we tried it. Get rid of you. Oh boy, we have just random paths we could take. I'm just gonna pick one door. I see the- oh, there's a computer. And I see a red warp, so I think this is the end of the quest. Nice try, Indy Belra. Yeah, I can see some computers in here. Let me get rid of you. There's laser gates blocking it off. I think that's a heal circle or something over there. I think there's another floor, if I remember correctly, actually. I think there's another floor. Nice, I got Mag Blast. And now I kind of like this, like there's a lot of waves right as the group comes together. So definitely this is a very different, yeah, blue route clear. This is a very different kind of quest design, which is kind of nice. And we're gonna, I'm gonna activate the, the warp. Oh, they're getting attacked. Oh, their side isn't done. Let, let me help their side. I'm assisting. There we go, now they're done. So, okay, now the red warp is here. So what I could do is I could put a telepipe for Hellcleave. So I think that put him on, I think it put them on the other side. So I think if you want to go back and get your items, this is how you would do it. But I think I'm gonna go to beta now. So I'm gonna put a little tug pipe down for Hellcleave. So he'll follow us. So we just took the red pipe. Just moving forward. Okay, so that 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 alleviates some of the concern of like how annoying it would be to go back. 
So, you know, we, we, we can basically strike that one out. And now we have, like, a combined quest of four, which is kind of nice. There we go. And the enemy numbers are kicking up. My ATP is kicking up. If number of claws on my face is kicking up. There we go. See how many enemies are here now? This is more suited for four players. This is the kind of wave size we should see based off the quest. So it's very interesting to see it kind of split and do that. Yeah, you love the enemies clipping through laser gates? They don't care. Okay. I'm going to take the door. I'm immediately going to get ambushed. Get out of my face. So you have decent enough MST to potentially use Heaven Striker Laser for max damage. Or if I'm using a power mag, it's still doing decent damage. I think he's going in. I got bodied. There are a lot of grumpy indie Velros here. Oh, Yashminikov, I love your distance. Never change. So, so, okay. So, because we're more... I like more group play. This is more the style room I like. So, potentially, this is a quest I would consider playing again. If I'm not playing, like, with the full group. But full group is still good. It's just different. So, a little more annoying for rares. But the speed at which we're getting kills is pretty good. So, we're almost at 180 experience. It's pretty solid. So, you have to view it this way. We're getting, on average, about 100 XP a second. With 175% XP boost. Just like about where the average quest should be. And with the RBR bonus, it would put it up to like 125. And that's the kind of thing where I'm like, yeah, it's probably good enough to do. So I think this one is a lot more fun as an RBR quest for me overall. I don't know if I'd play it without RBR, but at least I would go, okay. If I want to do a lot of white ID, potentially, it'd work out. I wouldn't do this one for like rare hunts necessarily. But just raw numbers of enemy killed. Not bad. Oh boy, there's a switch. What does the switch do? I have no idea, but I, I, I touched it. Okay, put us back in this room. Hello there. So I'm not sure if we can gain any advantages yet. Necessarily. By splitting up. In this area. Doesn't seem like there's many opportunities so far, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and just zap them so they don't kill us through the wall. Stupid Lily, perish. Meet your demise at the hand of Yashminikov. So yeah, like, like you have to think about it this way. For XP week, for XP week in particular, like getting 158,000 experience in uh, episode two without fighting a boss. It's pretty decent. Yeah, the other quest just kind of failed for me, honestly. I don't know if it was meant to be done with, like... I don't even know, like, what we could even really do to optimize it, quote-unquote. There's a warp up there. So I'll come up here. Start mowing them down. So now there's two warps. Oh, is this a point where we could split the party, potentially? I wonder. That is not the spell I meant to use, but that's fine. Yeah, I like that. They okay, so now it's like we can choose to split the party. I kind of like that. Do we take different roles in the same room? Good, good use. There's not a really, there's not a lot of like really unfair enemies. Like we're not getting like quadruple indie Belra body blocking Lily nonsense like some of the quests do. So interesting. A little happy fireball out for the rapies. Interesting. So yeah, I'm definitely happy to get the XP on this character. She needs it. <laughs> 
Healing circle. Ooh. That's considerate for casts. See, stuff like that is like how you you encourage the players to potentially play again. Yeah, that's actually kind of the... So I'm sure after that other route, most of the freeze traps are just straight up gone. And then if needed, we can even clear this entire room and then go restock freeze traps there if we need to. So we can kind of use that as like a gathering point as needed. Assuming there's going to be multiple waves in this room. Oh, they're going up to the north. Okay. There's something to do here. Oh, so they're fighting something to the north and we're still fighting stuff in this room. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't know how I didn't die there. I'm going to be happy. I somehow survived with 16 EDK. Luck is on my side, apparently, Chad. I did. I dodged one of them, but not the other. So that's kind of nice. We're splitting the team a little bit. Yeah, that was definitely in our favor, lucky-wise. We're going to try to clear the room for Tiggy a little bit. Jeez, there, there are so many enemies. Wow. Yeah, like, look at this enemy density compared to the other... Like, this is, like, night and day, how different these quests run. Like, the enemy density is good. The spawns are good. I feel like it... I really like that level design where we kind of meet up in the middle and you can, like, help each other out through the different routes or get some buffs. So they went to the north. Tiggy and I are going to the south. So we hit a switch. South switch engaged. So we ended up here. Where do we go the other way? Shoot. Uh. Oh, that's back to the healing circle. Okay. So, okay. Okay, I understand. So we... Oh... So we can choose, I get it now. Okay, so we have to hit the three directions and that healing circle is the hub. Okay. Okay, I kind of like that. So they did the north switch, we did the south switch. So maybe there's another room somewhere to go after this. So we hit the switches, but what did it open? Go all the way back? Okay, that's fair. I was looking to see if there's another door in here, but maybe not. Ah, uh, the door was in here. Oh, see that? Oh, I hate that so much. See that? That's not. That's not a quest problem. That's a map problem in PSO. It should really label chat if another hallway has appeared there. Like, look at our mini map. There's no indicator the the map the hallways there. So okay, I really like the idea. It's just PSO being dumb. We somehow survived that insta kill again. <laughs> that's called dumb PSO things. I think it kind of hinders episode two. To be honest. It makes it a lot more annoying to navigate than it should be. Right? Like, it should be, like, at least if I touch the hall that connects these two, it should color it. Like, even if they want to be like, oh, it's a hidden passage, you gotta find it first. I can respect that. But, like, when I'm already here, come on, put it on the map. Yeah, so please. So, look at the quest XP while XP week is up. We're at 220,000 and rising XP. So the sheer number of enemies in this quest is actually kind of insane. Like, think about it. This is all temple kills. Like, that's really good, chat. So I, I think I'm going to put this on a quest I would revisit. I would consider doing this again in RBR. As long as we have, like... We, we would have to make sure we go in in a certain order or fix it with telepipes, which is fine. We can fix it with telepipes, maybe. As pointed out by Hellcleave. But yeah, this is kind of fun. It's very different than the other quests we have. And this is what I'm talking about. Lots of little small waves between different rooms. We get to choose our position and how we clear. So the other team is fighting the north side. I'm fighting the south side. I really like the choices you can make in this quest. Like, even though we're railroaded, railroaded a little bit, I feel like... It's really neat to be able to tackle the rooms in different ways. That's the sign of a really good quest. So honestly, whoever made this quest should be proud of themselves. It's really good so far. Like, we're almost at 200 XP a second with my awful, awful DPS. So I'm, I'm happy about that. 
Yeah, they were they were cooking. Like we're still doing waves here. Like isn't this insane? Like this is crazy. The second part of the quest is like phenomenal for me. First part is whatever. I like I like the look of it. I'm not sure about playing with it. Wow, what a fantastic finish. That was an excellent way to end a quest. That's what I'm talking about. We had we had a good mix. We had a really good mix of like little little monster waves that we could handle when we're split. And then when it put us together, we were given options to go north south. We're given options to take different ends of the room. That was such a good quest. I was definitely worried about it at the beginning with the force split, but you know what? I'm going to give it to them. I think this was actually a really good quest. I don't think I've ever done this one before. Yeah, really, really good quest. Your simulation is complete. Damn, went up a level. I guess since I have so many power materials, I could just eat a few for the team. I don't really care about being material efficient at the moment. I might as well just cap my materials. Just, I need to get rid of power materials away. Yeah, let's just let's just get some power materials and like 96 anyway. I'm not gonna miss them. I have like three sets of 99. I'll be good. Let's just get more damage in. Yeah, so now we're at least above 1000 ATP. Should feel like I'd be able to contribute a little more. That's all. I'll make up these power materials later. It's not a big loss. Yeah, I think we had an opportunity to go back in the first map when we before we went to the second floor because we had the switches that I think actually teleport you there. So if you do want to clean up items, just be aware of that. So on top of being able to potentially telepipe swap, it does look like at the end you had the if you talk to the console, it'll literally t teleport you to the other route in case you miss something. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, any upgrades to Yashmanikov I could do? Oh, really? Okay, so. Honestly, we might come back to this quest when we're done showing off the RBR. So that was that was pretty solid. The, the, the okay, okay. The quest was really good until I saw eight thousand Masetta. Seriously, how is that only worth eight thousand Masetta? Game, please. Game, please. That should have been like sixteen thousand minimum. Minimum. That was a very long quest for eight thousand. I'm just saying. TTF is like sixteen thousand for fifteen minutes. But anyway, let's try episode four. So we're gonna do ultimate. So yeah, I got just a little more ATP overall. So in case I need to do some more damage, I'm assuming like another 60 ATP will be nice. So we're gonna double check what it is. I think it's, is it new or sweep? Oh, cause because again, they all have the word operation in them, so I'm like, it's something. <laughs> okay, it's sweep 12. Okay. That is subterranean desert upper. Okay. Well, I'm glad I have more damage here. Did the Twilight Sanctuary quest. Yeah, that was that was a really good quest. See, we learn stuff. We we learn from RBR. Even to this day, we still learn stuff. Sorry about that. Music paused itself. So hopefully I'll contribute a little more damage-wise. Team doing little dances. Ooh, enemies in this hallway. Uh, I just realized I don't have a melee weapon. Let me go get a melee weapon. Uh, I don't have one in there. Do I have one in my share bank? That I just any melee weapon. I, you know what? I will take red saber over nothing at this point. I don't think I have another choice. Oh, I could just use lame to Arjun. Actually, that would be better than red sword. Here we go, chat. We're going in. We're unlocking. 
sorry about missing at the beginning of the quest, but very interesting choice to put enemies in the hallway there. Not sure how I feel about the rest of it. Eh, it's damage is okay. Go back to charge arm. So again, we're putting a little more oomph in our items. So I definitely would prefer a Vivian here for sure. Let's just see what kind of enemies are here. See that? We made up a power material already. <laughs> Type please, sure thing, Tiggy. Gotcha. Okay, I don't have the best choice for this, but do something like this for big damage. Enemies on the other side. I like them just kind of chilling out over there. Oh boy. Some charge arm action in here. There we go. I think we did okay there. Thanks for a little power boost. Definitely worth it. Yeah, I definitely want to retry that temple with just like a little more ATP. It was interesting. If it was even beat, I would potentially pew pew laser here instead. That's fun. Okay, that should hit the Marissa and the other zoo, which is kind of nice. Help the team out a little bit there. How did that not kill? There we go. Get out of here, giant zoo. Hmm. Yeah, without Pew Pew Laser, I definitely feel weaker with the setup, but we'll have to get a Vivian or something on her full time. Check the boxes. Go back to Yashminikov. Never mind, already dead. Shoot the lizard in the back of its head with Yashminikov. Classic. Let's debuff them a little. There we go. Yashminikov's definitely doing more damage for Sean. Love to see it. Just walk behind it and shoot it in its brains. What a respectable way to fight an enemy. Just wait for them to be distracted and annihilate them. Aren't we so nice? It's episode 4 XP is episode 4 XP. So, you know, we're getting closer to 200. But that, that, that's pretty standard. At 150% XP... It's not hard to hit 200 XP a second. And even with us not knowing the route. Oh, it's fine. Healing circle, interesting. Let Tiki take that. Oh, there's oh, there's traps everywhere. Cute. I see them. I got Lieutenant Mantle. Okay, I cleared the bottom side, so I shot my way through there. The one near the door is taken care of. Hmm, interesting room. Oh, yeah, without Zalor, I don't think I do enough damage. Yeah, with Zalor, we do enough damage for sure. So I just have to be careful if I'm soloing here. Without Heaven Striker, not quite the right stats. But still nice. Just means I have to be more proactive in my own debuffs. Yeah, there we go. Like, I think we did good damage there, for example. We're like, get out of here. Good Yahweh slash Marissa's. Yeah, your damage is fine. Photon drop, excellent. Revive Hell Cleave. Absolutely murdered that Marissa full screen. 
So we have our uses, you know, we're kind of playing around the fact that we have lower uh, ATP. But we are sniping some priority targets still. Well, there's a- oh, yeah, I think there are like three Gardabulus, if I remember correctly. There's not a whole lot. There's enough. I guess the best way to put it. I love that we're just doing so much damage. Like, it's almost like we're demoning. It's definitely debuff a clock time. Debuff them for Tiki for max damage. Gonna heal Tiki here. Debuff their damage. There we go. Ooh, what a room. Thank you, Tiki. Screw this room. <laughs> We're just all the guns are out. We're like, get out of here, Marissa. I don't want to deal with you. Like, no thanks. Yeah, now that they're frozen, yeah, now I can charge arm them. So if I have to lean a little more on Tiki because uh, I don't have like the best setup in combos. But when that freeze trap is out or that Rebarda, ooh. Then, then our damage scales pretty fast. So in the meantime, we'll just debuff. Nice. Decent damage there. Get out of here, Goron Detonator. Yeah, there we go. Contributing. Well, Yash Minikov, this for sure. Why can't I turn around? Keep, please. There we go. Killed the zoo pretty quickly. Nice. There are so many traps in the middle, just beware. Shot like at least one so far. So quest-wise, not bad in terms of enemy placement. It, it's kind of hard to judge this quest after coming from the other one. The other one was just... That, that one was on its own tier, let's be honest. The quest was phenomenal. This one's fine. And, you know, got a little bit of healing circle action. There's some longer hallways, but then we... uh. We at least have some bigger spawns in some of the other rooms. Like that we're getting a choice on how to fight in this room, for example. Pyrogoron trying to teleport to me, but spoiler, it doesn't work. Kill that other Pyrogoron. Teleport this. Just gonna fake force my way into this, don't worry about me. On the plus side, with Lieutenant Mantle, I can blow up any traps, so I think I took care of a couple earlier unintentionally that way. Gertabulu. Kill the Goron. Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me again. Anyway, goodbye, Goron Detonator. Yeah, it's like the difference between me doing like 600 in a combo versus 1200. Like, Zalor definitely makes a big difference with our weapons just because our stats are a little weird. I was hoping I get the other one from behind, but didn't get a good angle. Meanwhile, this one. Oh, almost shot him in time. Uh-oh. 
Safety heal. There we go. So there's a couple of doors. There's one to the bottom left, I'm assuming is items, and north is progress, maybe? Interesting room to have a fight in, I guess. Don't mind me, just getting bodied. I'm just gonna heal the team. She's Rafoe. Hey, at least I can say we leveled Ruby Legs. She still has the right amount of HP for uh, episode 4, so I'm not too worried. If she ends up getting like another 30 HP, that actually puts her at the perfect HP for episode 4. Doing some pods later. So I think with the mind version of the, uh, what's it called? Striker unit. I think with the extra power material, she can at least swap in between using normals and heavies versus it. Because there's a lot of examples of when the lasers are just not efficient. So being able to swap a bit more is nice. I forgot fireballs on this button for this character. Just to hit the rappies mostly. Dango. I got- oop. I almost got you. It was close. I might have used my moon out of us right there, I'm not sure. They hit me at the same time. Healing time. You got Wombo Combo. Sometimes the game just says, perish. Not much you can do about it when it decides that. So very close to leveling again, which will be nice if I want to replay that other quest. Little extra across the board there. See now, my minimum damage should be so much stronger now. And on the plus side, if I have to play forest or ruins again, at least I saw the oops all sacrifice special plan will be just so much better. Goodbye, Tiggy's Trout. Yeah, sorry about not bringing demons. This character, I think, also needs a Slicer Fanatic, so I'll probably take one of the ones that are out of the bank for later. She'll just permanently keep one. As we did pick up quite a few, and then we had one returned. Today. Okay, there's like another warp in front of us. Not the warp I thought we were going for. <laughs> Why? Hello there, Rappies. Hmm, I'll take care of the zoo. I'll join in Hell Cleave, because my MST is okay. Better than me meleeing, honestly. Did you? Interesting. I did the zap there to hit the Rappy. I think that was worth it. Photon drop. Me get level 26. It's actually pretty solid. I might go pick that up. It's very rare that I get me gets. Oh, I 
targeted the other enemy. Someone who wanted to do this. Thank you. Goodbye, Marissa. Fireball you real quick. I don't feel like swapping weapons. Killed you. Got bodied by you. XP per second suddenly went into the stratosphere in this room. So 250 is a good sign. Hmm. Makes sense. Final room of the quest. So that, you know, that would get closer to like 130. I think that would probably put it into quests I would play again by criteria. I don't like having less than 100. Pioneer parts, nice. Don't know where the normal exit is. Let's just walk. We'll follow whoever's going this way. There's like two doors. Do they both lead to the exit or is one just treasure? Where, like, where is this going? We're on a magical journey. Hmm. I must know where this goes now. Does this put us in the middle? Well, it leads to items. Okay. I guess that's not bad if you're doing box hunts. It's it's a bit way well, it's way too far of just doing a normal quest. That is quite a detour for a single box set. So I guess the other door is the real exit. I wish the other one just led to a warp that led to the treasure box. I don't mind it like not immediately being the room, but I do think that was like too long of a walk. Kind of like this for like a standard exit is just too long of a walk to be honest. But anyway, we'll walk out the intended warp. Yeah, that, that like that's just way too long to walk to. No one in the right mind would do that if they didn't have it, unless they didn't have a choice. Yeah, like the walk there is longer than the walk it takes to go from <laughs> telepipe back the other way. Not worth it in the slightest. That was interesting. Put that away. So I don't mind playing more of this character. She's gotten a couple levels. ATP's better. The way I view it is like once I start getting over a thousand ATP, I feel like caves is pretty easy to clear. And temple's not too different than caves in terms of clear. Should be good here. If I pick up any more grinders, they could go on the Yashminikov for extra damage. Like that. Just like small incremental bonuses. So yeah, interesting. I could potentially do this. If there's hunts people are looking for in uh, desert, it's not bad. It's nice to add a little variety. But I think chat agrees. I think we should do at least one more of that episode 2 one. That one was sick. No worries, Hellcleave. Hellcleave, I, I guess if Hellcleave leaves, Chris, did you want to join in? Oh, Tiggy's also tired. Let's see, we'll, we'll see who's available. We'll decide from there. Okay, Chris can jump in. So Cleve and Tiggy could potentially bow out. You have a capacity to do TTF and then logging off. See you, Tiggy. Enjoy your TTF. So I'll go ahead and make the game. Faramir says, um, I'm get um, I guess. Okay. Sounds like we got a crowd. So I could probably keep somebody somewhat protected because my damage is okay now. If I need to act as a quasi-force. Yeah, we're going to do that penumbral surge. So it's going to be all temple. 
So bring in whatever you enjoy temple with. We're going to get split into two. It wouldn't hurt if somebody had like a ranger with tech or if you wanted to do force, that's also fine. Just as long as one of us pairs with the force, then it's fine. But it's not like a super difficult quest. And I was definitely DPSing enough with uh, Hell Cleave. So I know if I get paired with the forest, it's still fine. Because that was before the power materials and the level up. So my DPS is definitely there if the enemies gets a Lord. Bunnies look fine there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if Raw Marl's fine, Force is fine. Whatever you enjoy more on Parameter, that's the important thing. I can buff somebody. I think the only downside to 20s is I think you would have to have two people with 20s due to the split. That's the only downside to 20s. But if two people came in with 20s, then there's no issue. Then everybody just takes a buff. And that's good enough. So we'll do one of those and then we'll... Uh, I guess we'll maybe then close it with something else. I'll think about it. Or maybe we'll just take a break. We've been going long and strong today. So we'll give Chris a minute and Parameters pick in character. Dango 187 and Rising. <laughs> this fall over dead look and then bow apparently that's something how did i even do the bow did i do this what did i press art wheel no did i hit f2 or something oh that's the getting hit animation what a little cartwheel she does <laughs> it's a good trick. She goes flat and then she just flips. That is that is some good acrobatics, chat. That might be my new angry stomp. I just flip in place. <laughs> it's like a loading symbol. <laughs> Why'd the camera zoom in dramatically while I'm doing this? <laughs> Why did that just happen? Dramatic flips. Okay. We'll wait for Chris. Then we're good to go. So yeah, V101, Heavenly Arms, Lieutenant Middle. I guess I could use some grinders from the other place. Do I have... I guess I could take a slicer for the future, so this character just has one. Don't need demons at the moment. Um... She could use the last one if I want to. Let's take the Slicer Fanatic without hit for now. Uh, you can bring whoever you want, Chris. Don't don't worry about it. We're all paired up. Uh, take one of these. Heaven Striker Cannon. Oh, this is just a better Heaven Striker, right? Than what I was using. Oh, yeah. There's no reason for me to bring that then. Let's put the other one away. So I go, at least I get dark. Dark's actually important here because there are some enemies with dark. So that's a pretty significant damage increase if all I'm doing is heaven striking. And that would have made it kind of nice for the other one. Yeah, let's use some uh, grinders. We did pick up quite a few today. Rip all the try grinders. So just better A beast, which affects a little bit of the run, but more importantly, that dark percentage. We'll equip this. A little extra, put the rest back. I don't think I need... I did not mean to quit the game. That was a misinput, my bad. Let me try that again. My bad. Finger slipped on that one. Let us put that away. 
So we'll let Dango come in, and then it'll be Chris. And it'll be in Parameter. Let's put away the Slicer. I don't need it right this minute, but her having one is good. Even if it's low hit, doesn't matter. It's a raw moral. She doesn't need it. Dango's back. We're good there. Yashminikov is buffed. Dark Element would ha would help if we happen to do the other Heaven Striker quest again, or would do the other quest again. Or even just in general, honestly, the Dark Percentage just puts me a little closer to one combo killing the other enemies. That is just free damage. Yes, yeah, if it was like native dark, that would have been sick for episode 4, I think, and also a little bit that other quest we were doing. I respect the attempt of mixing like native and dark, for example. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Everybody's in. Murder mech has arrived. So we'll do this quest maybe twice, and then we'll we'll clean it up with a happy little TTF or something at the end. We'll do... Ooh, there's so many. Penumbral Surge 1. Skip dialogue? Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt, right chat? There we go. Got a nice range of things. Oh, I never talked to you. What do you have to say? You can toggle it in the quest board. Okay, so if you don't like the visual effect, you can turn it off. So I'm paired up with Murder Mech. So we'll do a happy little buff time. So we'll use the console. Come to us, Chris. There we go. And the teleport. So I'm going to be using Vulcans pretty much the whole time. Okay, right, so without Solora, I can combo kill now. That's good. Yeah, this is a lot of potential damage here. And that's where, like, having Yashminikov with a little bit of dark might make a difference on the weaker characters. Two of us kind of doing whatever on these enemies. Ooh, a little shy of the kill there. So yeah, as needed, I'll try to debuff. <laughs> that one enemy stood no chance. That was just kind of sad. Another disc of Brave Man drop. Sadly, no hit percentage. Get rid of you. I'm gonna use my text to hopefully dissuade them from hitting us with anything. So I'll zappy zap through the wall, for example. Then we can go through the center area, which is a bit weird, but that's fine. We'll go through the war. Very dramatic music for this quest. I like it. I targeted Chris's by accident. Oops. Yeah, between the two of us, we're just kind of hacking through. Ooh, the same. Was he turning around to fight Chris? I was right in front of him. I felt so disrespected there. He's just like, oh, just a raw moral. Don't want you to worry about that, right, guys? It's just a raw moral. <laughs> just he didn't even swing at me. What a jerk. Oh, boy. Oh, like 100 damage shy. Yeah, that's where ATP matters. That's fine. Nice damage. Nice. Oh, jeez, giant rappy. Giant Rappy's like the horror movie monster coming out of the wall. <laughs> like, what the heck is this? Okay. So I'm gonna put a little happy fireball out, hopefully. Get them as we run. So we'll hit the switch, and that'll spawn more enemies. Which, again, I kind of like that. Like, not both of us have to go there. I have to leave the room just for the Rappies, but... I like that we could kind of split roles, even when we're in the split path. So sadly, that means I won't get to see the other route that the other team is doing without, like, running through it. And a debuff for Chris, so he just combo kills, basically. 
And he's gonna hit the south switch. That'll spawn more enemies, which is kind of neat. Wow, he almost just berserk killed that in one combo. Nice job, Chris. My ability to aim is a little interesting. There we go. And hit the Rappy that's here somewhere. Okay. Let's proceed forward. Reapply buffs. Goodbye buffs. Sayonara, farewell, goodbye. Event egg. Interesting it dropped in that room. Okay. Maybe the Rappy dropped it or something. Oh, Indy Bell recognized me. Cool. I'm going to take the warp that's up here. So we're starting to get closer to each other, if I remember correctly. At the point where I can maybe use a charge arm. Yes, yeah, so they're a bit far apart. Might make more sense to do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Yashmanikov helping me put in the work for sure. Thank you, Yashmanikov. Chris is doing his best cleaving everything down. But I like that you can even toggle the visual. That's another thing that I'm like, ooh. Okay, we're in the meetup room. So we'll see if we can see the other group soon. Or if they've already left and we're just behind. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I see them. They're getting close. Uh, I think it's this. Yeah, there we go. I figured it out eventually. My fingers didn't remember. I eventually remembered. Rip murder mech. Lily said no. Oops, I got knocked over. Let's rebuff. Debuff. Deband. Heal the team. There we go. I like that I could kind of assist the other team. Oops. <laughs> yeah, let's just debuff them for the team. You can move on to the next area, Chris. I'm just messing around with these. <laughs> Giving them a chance. There we go. Victor Axe acquired. Nice. Yeah. Do a couple dot glutes here. Continue with Chris to the north. Reapplies buffs. Heal murder mech. Yeah, see, these are a little too far apart to charge arm right away. So having a Vulcan might make sense here. Why can I not aim? There we go. Aiming fixed. Uh, I think it's charge arm time. Bonk. Ooh, Lily in the middle. Get a freeze trap here, that would be huge. Oh, never mind. Charge arm does more damage than I thought. Disregard. <laughs> Not needed. We'll save that for real threats. Ooh. Fire damage. Yeah, there we go. Disrespect them with fire damage. You're like, you're in my world now, Rappies. You're not going anywhere. Oh, the rude room. <laughs> this is called the melee check. Get that out of there. Nice job from Chris. Killing that enemy. Getting him out of the way. Okay, we're making our progress through here. Hello, Hild Elts. See, I'm able to combo kill now, so that's a good feeling. We just shift to 20. We have just enough power. I shot that freeze trap, but that's fine. <laughs> I needed it out of there. Uh oh, Dango is losing the buffs. Oh, never mind. Parameters on it. Hmm. Guess I switch to charge arm. Help Chris kill.
Nice. Mine material, gladly. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, right, Chad? So, so far, pretty nice XP. We know it's it's a bit slower in the beginning, but the second area is where that XP really kicks back up. But even right now, it's just, it's fine. We're gonna take the little warp. Nice. See, that looks so cool with them up there. I just like the visual of the quest, too. Even just, like, as a participant versus, like, a viewer. Like, the, the thought of them being, like, up there and we can, like, maybe shoot up there and assist them. Like, we see all those BS lilies and I just shoot them from here. It's such a good feeling. It's like they're, they're the center slash star of the stage. We gotta protect the stars. Yeah, I really like that effect. And it's done in a way where it's not, like, ultra annoying either, because there's other quests that make you go up there, and then, it, like, you have to go up and then go down and go up and go down. But this one, they've, they've thought about it with the warps. So, yeah, doing what they can with, like, the tile set of this is really, really phenomenal. Really like it. So, I don't remember what's to the east and to the west. I just know the north path will lead here. I don't know if that changes what route we do. I'm actually gonna double check that in a second. I'm gonna heal. Like, what what is that other door? I just want to learn. Cause I don't think I get to solve that. So good luck for a little bit, Chris. You have like 14 seconds above. But I need to know what's over here. Oh, it's just oh, it's just chests. I mean that's not bad. Okay, this is just chests. Okay. Small detour for like four chests. Not bad. Let's go help Chris now. So yeah, I'm going for box rares. There's like a decent amount throughout the quest. It's a heal Chris. Buff Chris. Deban Chris. Blue root cleared. Nice. So we can help them clear their route. Which I kind of like. We could just help them catch up a little bit. The music died, so we'll make sure to switch it over. We might have hit the end of the soundtrack though. It's not a very long soundtrack. I don't think quite as shockingly short as the 14 song soundtrack, but it is what it is there. There we go, AV's kicking in. So routes have been cleared. Now we can take the, the routes if we need them. Give me a second as I switch songs slash soundtracks. Oh no, there's still more to the soundtrack. Two more songs actually. We'll take the red route. I didn't see anything of interest drop, so I'm just gonna keep going forward. Get everybody with that buff. Well, I'm not sure where Chris went. Chris, did you take the console warp or something? If so, you're gonna have to meet up with us with the telepipe. Yeah, if you use the console, then it put you in the other route. If you telepipe, you can take my telepipe to me. That's just there so players can go backwards in case the other route has items you need. That is Windows Update, please. What was that? You have no pipes? Ooh. Which console did you take? I could. I don't know if I could go back for you. I think I can. I could try to save Chris. Go back to where you, you came from as best as you can, but don't literally progress through the dungeon. Which one did you take? Left console, I'm assuming? I think I have found Chris. Okay, so we just need then the Hudu World to, uh, or Dango to potentially pop a telepipe. I'm gonna go rescue Chris. I don't know where he is. Did he move? Is he moving away from me? Chris, please stop running from me. I just need to telepipe you. <laughs> You're making it harder. No, just come back. Okay. Let's go, Ryuker. Come to me. Battle awaits us. Okay. Let's take the other war. Green is good indeed. 
Oh, Photon drop dropped. I gotta go back for that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Back to the murder. Yeah, pay attention to this Indie Belra. There we go. Now we're fighting as a unit. Get rid of you. Protect the team. Nice kill. The giant fan is out. Battle fan has been deployed. Oh man, Yashvinikov is so fun. There we go. Get out of here, stupid lilies. I was gonna say jokes on you, I got soul atomizers. Silence claw, got my hopes up for a second. Goodbye, Arlens. Not bad, not bad. Not targetable. I was like slightly not far enough in the room. More Victor Axes. Goodbye, boxes. Oh, that Lily is so dead. Get out of here. <laughs> You're not surviving. Oh, that Lily will get me, though. I didn't realize it didn't get hit. Rip. Team walk right by it. That sucked. Rip my HP. Uh, I'm gonna use lightning in here so I don't take damage from Lily. There we go. There we go. Deal with the Lily. By Crimson Assassins. Hmm. No items on the little balcony, sadly. There's so much single target damage in our group, it's kind of funny. So I'm not even using charge arm for the most part. I mean, I can, kind of. But yeah, Hildel needs to go. Uh, I'm going to stay down here for a little bit. But I think ultimately I should be up top for sniping. Or <laughs> apparently there's more enemies up here. Get out of here. Need a nice sniping spot. Leave me alone. Nice. Which is Yashmanikov for damage, I think. Yeah, so team is fighting some enemies down there. I guess I'm taking out the big targets up here. Shot one enemy down there. Oh, I can actually shoot him from there with Rafoe. That angle's crazy. I didn't even think that was legal. Wow. Thanks, Rufoe. I didn't know I could angle that down with Yashminikov. Okay, I learned. A little warp here. Oh, that's not the one I want. Okay, Rappi's got hit. Good, good, good. Some boxes. So this is where we can kind of split up. So I'll go with, I guess, Chris to the north, maybe? And the team can go elsewhere. So one team... So we'll go past the switch. Oh, Chris went backwards. No, no, come this way, Chris. To the right we go. So I'm gonna go to the north with Chris up here. And then if the other team goes south, maybe? Or maybe we could... No, it's fine. We'll leave it as is. I thinking of just showing off more routes, but that's fun. Go with something simple. So once we kill these, we should get more passage choices. So now that that's there, 
I'm gonna continue to the north. With the little light effects that are happening here. That way the group can kill and fight their way to the south. Got bodied. Here, Chris. Heal, Chris. Oh, I need these Merlins off me. Chris is going up there to fight the big bad. Oh boy, almost died. Take that, Lily. Nice damage, nice damage. Oh, I can't get the skip doll. That is a lot of indie bowers up there. Let me snipe a couple for Chris. South switch engaged. We just gotta clean up the north and we're good. I think we just did. Let's drop a mono mate. We don't need those. Pick up the escape doll. Exit through here. That'll put us back in the main room. So here we go. Switch activated. So now the team can continue here. There we go. Now the now the bridge has risen. With teamwork, we we managed to make it through. So many Lily kills. So we'll stay pretty much on one side. We'll let Dango and Imperimeter handle the other. Congrats, Imperimeter, by the way, for hitting 121. The character has been on quite a level journey so far. 106 to 121 in one stream. Been putting in the work. All that ATP building up. Chris and I just trying to murder anything that spawns at this point. Oh, hello. Ooh, nice little dodge there. I'm gonna heal. Oh, I'm getting bullied. Thank you. <laughs> the indie bowler paid attention to me and I don't think I liked it. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that Lily. Gafoe interrupted the Lily there. That was good timing with Gafoe. We're just killing as many things as we can here. And I kind of like that somebody could potentially be like in the middle and just kind of swap who they're focusing on. I just like the potential of this room mixed with the north-south switch. Like that's the kind of thing where like I don't need to necessarily be told how it works. It just it's so it's other than the map being a bit goofy. It's very intuitive. It has a good flow to it. Like the feel that we could switch who we're partnered with or stick with the same. Here we're just kind of meeting in the middle gunning stuff down. So we see how the other team is doing. Oh, <laughs> oops, all held outs apparently. Victor Axe has finally dropped for me. I'm about out of Gafoe in case the Rappies wake up. There we go. Next big set of waves. Get the Crimson Assassin off for Chris. There we go. 22 minutes, 188 XP. It's pretty fun. This character almost leveled again. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm feeling a little tired, chat. So we have a decision to make. Would you rather do this quest one more time or do a TTF? Or an RT? But you could pick one. That's all you get. <laughs> we had a very long streaming day of almost uh, seven hours of PSO. But yeah, it's good to play new quests. That quest is a ton of fun. Sort our inventory. Put away Death Watch, I guess. It's 
So we'll see what the chat says. But we're going to wrap up the stream on whatever this is. Short or long. Yeah, I'm happy. I got to play more characters I don't normally play. Another character that potentially would benefit from a red ring eventually. She's more far off than my UCAS, though. I guess in a weird way, potentially I could even bring Hugh Cast here. I mean, all I do is Vulcan, honestly. So maybe in the future, not today necessarily, but in the future, we'll bring in the Hugh Cast to get some XP. This is a very Vulcan heavy run. There's a couple rooms that Charge Arm did look superior, but otherwise it's like, ooh, Freeze Trap plus Vulcan equal dead enemies everywhere. And it's like, Hugh, Hugh Cast is like playing like UF Shifta. <laughs> okay, so we hit the end of that soundtrack. Not quite Olympic level, marathon level of stuff, but we got close. So we're now into Sonic Runners. For the meme, you'll vote RT. Sure. Even the only person that voted Dango, you win unanimously. How does it feel? <laughs> so I'll switch to Blue ID. Blue ID's Hugh New World. So she has some basic buffs. Team can accommodate accordingly. So if you just want to bring raw damage, it's kind of whatever. Dango <laughs> feels hollow inside, but that's normal. No, Dango, you should be happy. You're getting another RT. We even did some quests that you were doing earlier for the uh, Lost Bind Assault. Got RT, leveled a new character. Today has been a very good stream. So yeah, potentially later in the week we'll do more Galatine now that we have a yellow ID character. We'll put that on the table, but honestly that episode 2 quest was so strong, it might sway me. We might be doing that more often. Even if the items aren't super great. There we go. Let's give Dango an opportunity to beat Olga Flow once more. Into the fray we go. Runner and Tris and Grain in your brain. That is bringing some nostalgia. We're gonna hear like 20 or so minutes of the song, given that RT is quite long. There we go. Yeah, yeah, and they ran a Vegeta in 1975. Things are turning up, turn it up, Dango. <laughs> Just gotta get you a red ring. <laughs> Let's see, Smart Lang, Violet Idoshi. Should get Jaya, I think. It'll happen soon, hopefully. It's not rare or drop rate week, but we know how it goes. You put in the run, you'll get it randomly. I guess I should bring Dark Soul or not Dark Soul, uh Dark Flow with me. No worries, Chris. He's probably just swapping characters. He's like, who do I delete bosses with? Ranger's a strong choice. Hunters are fine. There's not, no, not a ton of enemies either way. Force is okay. Technically, if you wanted the free ride, you could force, but... All up to you. But yeah, I think that uh, the power materials definitely make the character feel better. I guess I should make four casts first, maybe because that's easier for me to flick. Yeah, let's switch it so if I get it later, I'll put four casts first. It's RT, I'm bringing the raw cast, so he's had enough apparently. He's through playing around, he's bringing the cast. He's like, I'm not bringing Humar, get out of here. 
It's like, no, 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 no. Q cast, raw cast, must be cast. No humans allowed, no Newmans. <laughs> Although we're almost a dark flow party, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so I'll spin around Dango. I think this is one of my shorter characters. I tend to do tall characters. I can bring Bream Arm with Beano Woman's Benefit. Aw. Oh. I was gonna say, we gotta get you uh, all set up with the dark flow. Because I think we got you the Parasitic Gene Flow. I just don't know if you put it on a caliber. I don't recall. But anyway, bring whoever you're comfortable with. I don't really care. We'll be fine. Let's go ahead and sort our inventory. Here we go, chat. Oh, there we go. That was a pause. Time to do Respective Tomorrow. And this will level up this character too during XP week, which is good, because she needs 12 more levels-ish in order to get Red Ring. So enjoy the XP. Well, I don't think Chris will enjoy the XP, but everybody else will enjoy the XP. Eventually, I imagine Chris will get an assortment of raw casts. <laughs> Just oops all raw cast army. So I'll be the buffs for the team. I'll even Zalore the boss. So I'm not going to worry about Zalore on, uh, what's it called? Gal Griffin. HP material, nice. Pick that up in a second. the happy friends song so we just murder all the monsters goodbye arlens and merlins oh this lily is so dead don't even try to ambush me dango's got the weed whacker it's all over thank you xpvm for subscribing always appreciated Subscribing with the Prime Gaming, nice. You can say, take that, Amazon. <laughs> it's the it's the free money glitch. Hopefully, you've been enjoying stuff so far. Oops, we all went to the north. Let me cover the south. <laughs> Our urge to move forward and murder uh, overcame us all. Yeah, nice little happy RT to end things. This character will level up on the boss, I think, no matter what. We got a couple enemies to go still. Oh, I knew that Merlin was going to walk into my shot range eventually. I'm like, I'm not correcting my angle. Like, how about you go in the line of fire? Okay, put a little happy Kafoe out for the Rappies so we can check if they have event eggs. Nope. Oh, I left grinders behind. Oops. I was gonna say, we were finding some decent caliber potentials for um, Dark Flow. I think Hell Cleave is helping a little bit with that. I know we gave one to uh, Dango. We literally picked it up mid run. So if there are swords, if you're just looking for base swords, perhaps we can discuss stuff with help leave. If you've seen any or has any. Sadly, caliber drop, no hit though. Or no hit worth mentioning at least. Otherwise, it's box runs for life as Sky ID. Oh, that literally is ultra dead, GG. Uh, 
Alright, so we potentially have two people cannon rouging. I'm just gonna try to do damage. I'm gonna try to land my Zalore. We'll see what happens. So let's see, chat. Do you think it's gonna glitch and go to the right or go above us? Which way it goes, nobody knows. It does whatever it wants. Oh, it didn't glitch this time. We're gonna do our best to debuff for the team. Oh, Cleave says, I'm not doing Restless Lion for arms on the moment, only 50 machine hit charge calibers. Yeah, that's fair. I guess we could try to get Chris to do that quest at some point. We'll teach it. We'll do it on stream at some point. I have to learn how to do it. I did it like once a really long time ago. It's definitely not one that is fresh in the memory in any sense. I'm aware that I did it once because you had to like sneak up on guards or something. That's the extent of my recollection of it. Perish guards. Right, so let's go to the edge of the raft. Goodbye. The fight is over. <laughs> Try it. Excalibur Cannon Rouge. What a combo. Yeah, I think when I first played, I didn't realize how susceptible they were to hell. Nice level ups. Dango leveled as well. I'm getting more ATP. So again, this character is slowly going up in usability. It's nice to be above, like, ATP of our uh, Ranger compatriots. Okay, okay, here's here's the contest. Who can line up the best? Ooh, I might be slightly off. So if we angle between the two bolts here and face up, <laughs> can we get to the other thing? Oh, Chris is too far over. It has to be between this set of bolts on my left and the bolts of, on my right. Then we hold forward and we go there. Let's see. Am I too angled? Oh! Oh, I hit the button. Oh, so I would have been able to do it. Oh, okay. That sucks. Yeah, I was slightly off. <clears throat> I got excited. But nope, just very slightly off. It gave me the prompt to teleport, so I technically hit it, but it's definitely not as centered as it should be. Elkleaf saying, you could get Charge Berserk from Restless Lion. So having a 50-50 Raygun, Arms, Gunnier, or Vulcans, less so, would be nice. Yeah, definitely, the, uh, for me, definitely the Charge Arm. Oh, I would love a Charge Arm with, like, 50 Dark, 50 Machine or something. I would use that all the time. Because I use that currently on, like, Vol Op and Sinos. Obviously, you would upgrade it to Brand's Launcher in the future, but, hmm. I guess it makes sense. It's Sonic Runners, and all we do in the quest is run. Or wait on the raft. <laughs> One of the above. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta lose HP at some point. Uh, I got some time here. Let's lose some HP. Maybe Vice the rest of my HP away. <sighs> Targetable. There we go. Watch out, Chris missed the shifter. I thought he was in range. Game is just teasing. Need like a couple of Gearsol swings and we're good to go. There we go. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, ah! I don't want to be healed. Dark flow time. No invincibility. Boo! Alright, chat, come on. This is like one of the bosses it matters the most on. Seriously? Man, that is such bad luck. It's like a 75 or 80% chance, chat. It's so bad to not hit that. A oh, whole bunch of me doing nothing. Yeah, 
we're gonna use the Dimate twice so we don't die. Oh, that time it doesn't double hit me? Whatever. Game always trolling, exactly. Game be trolling. That's my giant dark flow. <laughs> Power material from the boss. Not bad. Up those boxes. Yeah, we'll fix the White Ranger's materials later. We have like, literally like 70 hours to get materials. It's fine. As long as I don't burn luck material, those are more annoying to get. Mine, power, whatever. Free Dango. So sad that didn't kill. I just accepted my fate there. I don't, I didn't think I was gonna dodge it. I was like, uh, it's fine. Don't feel like reparting. Freeze is just a temporary annoyance. Dead before it hit the ground. That's fair. Let's get that mine material. I'll do the I'll do the hell cleave check for hell cleave. Venegg, nice. I mean, this music kind of fits the beach. Like, we're having a party time on the beach. And again, this is more something I would think with Sonic. Which is, it's more active. And there we go. Which I can't say about the other soundtracks we're listening to. They were like, hmm. That is some devious helling. Goodbye, Guy. Okay, I'm gonna go down the secret path. I'm gonna wish the rest of the team luck. I think I got Chris, who's still using ATP. Maybe Dango. Yeah, I got Dango. Secret path time. Vulcan, please. There we go. That whiff on the sacrifice hurt my soul. I should have killed him instantly. Yeah, we definitely need Red Ring. Oh, see, this time I remembered you're here. Nice try. Oh, you are actively trolling me. What are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Just like... Shaking my head. Ooh, I'm just like just shy of killing. And that's why we need about 18 more ATP. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bother debuffing here because I'm going to be spamming Zalor. So team is welcome to Cannon Rouge. Or Dark Flow. Could lend Dango the Dark Flow technically. He'd probably use it better. Be like, go forth Dango, murder everything. Okay, I got the debuff. <laughs> what? Did you see that tornado curve to me? That was ludicrous. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm so dead. Holy. I'm getting chased. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I was getting chased so hardcore for a minute there. It's kind of upsetting. Wow, team almost killed Grout Giffen before it landed. Power of Cannon Rouge. So I am doing nothing in this fight. Let me tell you. And they killed it before it landed. Chat, round of applause. The boss is already dead. So 
So I'm glad I still Lord. <laughs> it's like I did damage to the boss. Nope, oh, there's the twirly shadow. Wee twirly. Goodbye. <laughs> Chad, every time it's not Gal Griffin Wing, I swear it gets funnier every time. It's <laughs> just every time. <laughs> it's never showing up, chat. One day. <laughs> it's like Dorf on a Clear. I've been promised it exists on IDs where it drops something, but uh, TBD. So anyway, we don't have Hell here, so we're going to rely off of the other team members to potentially kill Morphos. There's enough people using ATP, it might be worth Saloring them. But otherwise, this is going to be a lot of brute force burst damage. And we got to monitor our uh, Photon Blast since we want to have it by the end of the run. So I'm going to try not to use too many sacrifice specials. I'm actually going to try to build meter with... Uh... There, we go. there we go. By getting hit in the face, number one. Number two, debuffing enemies. So that way we could do more damage to them with things like Zalor. Ooh. Well, I Zalored one of the Morphos. All I can really do. There we go. So again, 64 meter, not great. We gotta build more meter somehow. Let's try to get some normal shots in here. Okay, got a little bit. All the boxes are open there. Let me go ahead and do this for the team. No more poison room. One box remains. Up that box. Never know, that could be a team's dream item. Could be a 90 hit caliber. Could be charge ray gun 80 hit for no reason. That Sinnoh is getting bullied by chat. Just straight bullied. I'm gonna get hit on the, by that on purpose. I need to build meter. 45 hit gun year. I mean, if it has charge and it identifies to 55, that would actually be great. That was commitment to where he spawned. Oh, no special. Chad is wondering. We're getting hit on purpose. I'm at 73 meter. I need to hit 100 by the end of the area. I could probably get about another 8 just through damage alone. Del Beater probably adds like 6% if it runs me over. So I'm going to go ahead and brace Del Beater. Come on, Del Beater. Oh, how did you not aim for me, Del Beater? I want, I want, there we go. Thank you. I needed some meter. Del Beater helping me out. See him at 85. Look at, we should thank Del Beater. He gave us like 12% meter. What a bro. <laughs> Build some meter via attacking up to 86. So I could probably get to like 91, maybe 92 through damage. So I'm going to have to either get hit in the face again twice. Or I'm going to have to take some chainsaws later. But I think we built up decent meter. So technically if I run out where Dango's running. Dango's running into the I want to get hit territory. You can see like roughly, roughly every kill is about a percent. Well there we go. He got hit by Rebarda. That's good. Share the team damage with that one. I love the enemy wasting his time. I froze him but I don't think I could target him. Oh no, I could briefly. Rip the enemy though. Is okay, so we're 91 meter, not too bad. So we still need to potentially get hit in the face. <laughs> I'm just saying. That that option has not been ruled out still. What is the lore everything just so we do more damage? So we're at 92 meter. And if I don't want to build meter, we can always uh sacrifice special. So I want to lure these enemies. Nice. I was thinking that was going to hit me with lasers, but that's fine. I definitely don't want to trip this because that thing is annoying. Oh, never mind. Team tripped it. Well, time to build some meter. There we go. Hit me more. There we go. 95. <laughs> there we go. 96. It's only needed to get it twice more, I think. I'm going to go through the hidden door here. 
We'll do a quick little chest check as the rest of the team deals with that. Good luck, team. Hmm, weapons drop, but nothing of interest in there, sadly. So we're at 97 meter, and there's one more chance to get hit in the face. It's an important qualification. Alright, so Sinnoh decks me in the face, albeit 100 meter. Don't think I need him. So we're gonna... We're gonna get decked in the face right here, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Him, please. Alright, I'm at 100 meter. So if anybody is close-ish, I'll build some meter here. Otherwise, we don't need everybody at it. We just need somebody to donate. So 81 is not bad. <laughs> like RT just becomes a uh, self-inflicted pain simulator. If somebody else has 100. We just need a third person. A race to get injured. See, so yeah, we calculated getting hit in the face exactly the way I wanted it to. 96. 88. Oh, 88's not too bad. We could wait for 88, potentially. Maybe. That's not too bad. Uh. I guess... It's a little overkill. But we'll go for it. We... <laughs> Rockspot hurts himself to feel alive. <laughs> go this way. Let's go to max strength. Overkill is the best kind of kill. Yeah. So we'll have to talk about it. I think everybody can talk about what they need. Come in here. So he Chris is going to use Dolphin. I'm going to use Twins. You're going to say Twins. Somebody else has to figure things out between you. Hilo. Okay. I'm seeing everybody knows what to press. I'm going to say using Twins to help time. There we go. Dango donating. That makes it simple. Big damage time. Big buff time. We're gonna hold forward. I'm gonna spam Zalore. And if chat has really good luck with their sacrifice moves, it should just be GG for this boss. Because you can hit this boss stupidly, stupidly high in the air. Like, every time I think it won't hit, it still hits. I, I almost half wonder if Sacrifice Special can hit off screen in the air. Like, when it's in this phase. It did hit! Somebody did hit it. <laughs> Somebody did sacrifice him off screen. I saw it. It went upwards and it hit. That's so dumb. I love it. It's just like, gotcha. Little, little sneak peek, Heaven Striker. Like, I don't see you, but the gun does. <laughs> Heaven Striker is definitely too good. The autocorrect on that is insane. It's like, yeah, good enough. So remember, wait a little bit. When we see it, look around. We'll punish it. I'll Zalore it, though, because the lore doesn't matter. Let's get a little closer, get a little Zalore. Okay, time, go, go, go. I whiff my special at 94% chat. I'd like to have a moment of silence for that 94% accuracy. That uh, Not a single shot hit, I think of that. Or maybe one did out of three. It was pretty bad. The good luck was bound to dry up eventually. Although, honestly, that wasn't even good luck. That was, that was atrocious luck. How do you miss 94%? Oh, man. GG. What a marathon. We're just checking to see if Parasitic Team Flow is there, mostly. Moon Atomizer. Nope. Take it, though. Oh, wait, never mind. It was Antidote. Never mind. It was even worse. Oh, man. That item was terrible. Leave that on the floor. Dango will receive it one day. 
But hey, in the meantime, received 189,000 experience. 215 XP a sec. That's pretty decent. Rox just cubes us. There's only cube. It's block boy all over again. There we go. <laughs> I think it said, well done, you did it in 47,000 hours. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I think the timer broke on that. A little, little suspect timer there, chat. Something tells me I didn't take 47,000 hours to complete that. Just a hunch. So we'll put these away. Put away more power material. How are we looking power material wise? We were at 96 earlier. We're back up to 68. Not bad. So there we go. What a marathon here. I'm going to have to rename the VOD for sure. That turned into a very long session. But hey, that just means we could do a uh, summarization of uh, Phoenix Sunday after we're done with Wild Arms. We'll just get that out of the way so we could progress Phoenix next time. Dracy is 776 RNG. Oof. I partially understand that reference. I've not played the game. I've heard things. Fire Emblem does not love us. But anyway. Let's go ahead and chat. Talk about, I guess, everything that happened today. As we formally have a final part of the stream. So... New RBR? Interesting. I, I'm not a big fan of the first quest, only because it's a lot of small waves and walking, but not like small waves rapidly. The episode 2 quest shows like you can have a good mix of like big waves and small waves and still be very effective, and I think that quest was good. And I think the episode 4 one was fine. It wasn't like mind-blowing. It did some different things with the runes, so it's like a little different. If you're looking just to break it up a little bit in desert, it's just okay. But if you're looking for a lot of Goron kills, uh, that's definitely the regular quest that I would recommend to do. Otherwise, kind of like on the tougher end for clears, unless you have stronger gear. Whereas like episode two, we got almost comparable XP and was way easier. So it's like between those three quests, I will absolutely do the uh, penumbral surge over those. But anyway, chat, that is it for now. We had a very long stream session today. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to you two for one last time today. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.